Welcome back to AM Northwest. It's wedding season, which means some of us have been asked to give a toast this summer. Here to help us make it memorable, we welcome back the author of Human Lie Detection and Body Language 101, Vanessa Van Edwards. Always good to see you, Vanessa. Happy to be here. Um, yeah, let's talk about giving toast because sometimes it can be kind of, first of all, scary to give a toast and yes. you want to make it good and you want to make it funny. Yes. All those things and then we can go horribly wrong. So this is one of those things where it's a skill. It's a life skill. Right. Whether it's a wedding or a birthday party or your grandma's and grandpa's, you know, anniversary party right. you might be asked to give a toast and here is my formula it okay. is foolproof good okay so the very first thing is start with a hook the biggest mistake that you'll make when they do a toast is they start with I me or my I'm the don't, bride's brother don't start with that right because this is a gift your toast is a gift to the person so you actually want to start with it's all about them not about you right so even though you were gonna get to the background what I actually want you to do is instead of saying I'm the host brother or you know I'm the bride's sister actually start with what you're going to tell them Okay. And you want to make this a little bit tantalizing. So something like, today you're going to learn three things you never knew about the groom. Oh, good one. Right. I would be listening. Right, right. And that's when people go, oh, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. ready. And they, put, yeah. they bring their drink out, they put their right. phone away. Or um, another hook could be, um, here I'm going to tell you three things, three reasons why the bride was called Wonder Woman in college. Wow, I right? like that. Right, so these that. are kind of like sort of tantalizing, interesting things. So start with the hook, and right. then you can do the background. But so here's my caution with the background background is don't make it boring instead of saying I'm the I'm the groom's younger brother right um, say I'm the groom's younger brother also known as sibling slave from ages 9 to 13 oh good right? that's really right? good or yeah. instead of saying I was the bride's roommate in college snooze boring right. everyone's asleep um, say uh, I was the bride's roommate in college I was also her partner in crime I was also the reason why she got into so much trouble sorry mom and dad good one. right so yeah add a little extra those are really good to that background so right. hook background, background and then what I call the one two three punch so depending on how much time you have like if it's an impromptu toast you probably only have time for one if it's a longer one you can do three you want to do three stories and these should be stories with a theme so mm -hmm. again three things you didn't know about the bride three reasons why this is the perfect couple uh, three things that might surprise you about this person so now, do you should you check in with the the person that you're gonna say can I bring up the crazy time we had in Spain or so you my know. rule of thumb is if they might blush you should run it by them yeah um, especially if it's a woman so yeah. if you are giving a toast about a bride or a mother yeah, don't mention the ex-boyfriends yeah, that's not, not a good not idea so great yeah. um, so if you, if you think it's gonna make them blush I'd run it by them um, if you think that they're thick-skinned I would actually go for the surprise factor okay and what you want to do here is don't just go for the description so you know people will often get up and they'll say you know you might not know that Julia loves knitting <laughs> Right, and yeah. people are like, wow, yeah. you know. So what's better is add a little story. Like, you might not know that Julia loves knitting. I didn't know this until she got lost at the mall one time, and it turns out she was held in security for arguing with the yarn person about her favorite color. Oh, wow, right? like, that is good. It's a little, like, it's a little story people laugh, and right. they remember it better. So right. one, two, three, depending on how long but those stories, stories are. Three stories are a good idea. Three stories right. with a theme, right? Okay. Three things you didn't know, three reasons why this couple is amazing, three things you should ask them about, three things they should be embarrassed about. Right, so one, two, three. Then what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have, this is the most important part, is the clink, right? That that final, like, toast. Oh, clink as in the glasses. Yeah, clink, clink in the glass. People actually forget this a lot in their toast. There's two things formally you're supposed to do when you get to that part, which is thanking the hosts. Oh, right. We always forget to thank the hosts. And then also a, a good wish. So instead of just saying, and cheers, what you want to say is, everyone holds your glass up. Thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Green. We wouldn't be here without you. Oh, right. And let's wish a world of happiness and kisses and magic and rainbows to the couple. Oh, Cheers. that's a great idea. So thank you, well wishes. Right. That's, that's the nice sort of formalized um, thing that you can do. The last thing is what I call toast felonies. So these are little mistakes, and I have been to six weddings already this summer, so I've been listening oh to my a gosh. lot of toasts. Um, these are things that sort of just, they kill the mood when it comes to toast. Mm -hmm. So the first one is don't script. So I know everyone wants to write out their right. toast. They type right. it out. But when you see someone walk up to the mic <coughs> with a script, with a long, you're just like, oh, no, this is going to be long. Yeah. Also, what happens is your vocal charisma dies the moment you begin reading. So when you're doing, I am so excited to be here. 
Yeah. Julia is the sweetest, <laughs> prettiest person. <laughs> right? Like that. Yeah. It's just like you're it doesn't work. Like yeah. So bullet it. So yeah. instead of scripting it, do limit yourself to one three by five card and do the bullet. The hook. Yeah, so you don't forget. Right. The hook, the background, your three punch, right. and the last part. That's gonna help you remember without having to read. Okay. Um, as well as if you can, no superlatives. So everyone always says the sweetest, the smartest, right. the prettiest, the cutest, the nicest. Um, those are all great, but they're a little boring. So right. instead, think of a metaphor, right? So you might have noticed that the groom looks a lot like Bradley Cooper, oh, right? Good That's one. so much better than he's such a hunk or right. he's so handsome. Right. That's a good <laughs> um, one. So little, instead of so superlatives, work a little harder. It's their gift. Remember, this is part of the memory of the event, and also it honors your relationship. So putting a little extra energy into it really helps. And you have one more felony? One more felony, which is um, a body language. Okay. So if you can, um, it's we get really nervous. Don't apologize. Don't get up and say, sorry, I'm so drunk. <laughs> right. Uh-oh. Committed that felony. Right. So the problem is, <laughs> is the moment you say, sorry, I'm so drunk, everyone is now just looking at all the reasons why you're being drunk. They right. don't know the toast. Right. So if you're drunk, just go with it. You know, yeah. don't even acknowledge don't it. Say, don't apologize. Because they'll know. Right. Don't go get up and say, oh, I'm so nervous. You yeah. know, stand strong, stand proud. Don't apologize own it because otherwise people will be distracted by your stuff when all you want them to do is be focused on the couple as right. a person. Great ideas, <laughs> great tips. We're going to put those tips, by the way, on our website at k2.com. Vanessa Van Edwards, author of Human Lie Detection and Body Language 101. Thank you so much. My that pleasure. was excellent. Wait, before you go, think of one person who could benefit from this video and send it to them. You'll make their day.